Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are at SEMA 2019. Um, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a lot of interviews, a lot of uh, documentary on diesel swaps them themselves, um, particular builds that didn't come with diesels from the factory, and these incredible builds at SEMA 2019. So stay tuned. standing in front of a beautiful 1974 crew cab um, this is a diesel conversion it's got uh, some different axles but I'm gonna introduce Sam he's the owner of this beautiful truck hi yeah I'm Sam uh, this is my 74 crew cab uh, we did a first gen Cummins 12 valve swap for the engine um, running a 06 Super Duty axle or 05 and newer will work with uh, BDS suspension, Fox coilovers, uh, kind of custom fabbed some of the brackets into the frame, but mostly everything bolted right in. I mean, it wasn't okay. a super tough conversion. So was it a like an 05 kit that you kind of modified a little bit? It, it was from BDS. This is a, a kit anybody can go and buy for a 05 Super Duty, 05 and newer Super Duty. And then we just, we modified it to work with this frame because it's all stock frame. Okay, and, uh, so it is the original 74 frame yes. that came with the truck. Yes. Yep. And was this uh, originally two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive? Original four-wheel drive. So it had, okay. it had uh, leaf springs front and rear, uh, Dana 60 front and rear, and we just converted that all to Super Duty. So the old axles were all drum brakes, and now it has disc brakes all the way around, drives a hundred times better, stops a hundred times better, steers really nice. We did a, a true power steering actually okay. out of an F-150 and we just had to do a reverse throw to make everything work properly. Okay, so it's a F-150 box? Yeah, from like 76 to 79 I think and then we swapped out the guts of the box so it was a reverse throw to work with this setup. And All right. the steer's really nice so that's a fourth part. All right, and I see you got Fox coilover shocks. Yep, fully adjustable uh, Fox coilovers. Yeah. And that was for 05 specific too. Same thing. Yep, this was this was all a kit we got. We have that kit came from BDS suspension with the Fox coilovers, with the coilover mounting bucket. Okay. Um, with the link mounts back here. Those are made to go under the frame on a Super Duty, so we just put them on the outside of the frame for this truck. Got you. So really, we had we had to drill some new holes and um, do a little bit of a little bit of map to make everything work right. But it was basically a drill and bolt in type of deal. Excellent. Perfect. And it looks like were you running 35s, 37s? These are uh, 37, 1350 by 22 inch wheel. It's a Toyo Open Country RT with a hostile. 22 inch wheel um, yeah great guys to work with both people I mean they they kind of sponsored <laughs> sponsored me the wheels and gave me a huge discount on the tires as well excellent uh, BDS suspension the same thing they're great great people to work with all right so I see you got a the, the paint job is really really nice com compared to some old old trucks you see a lot of waves um, it is is a really straight job. Did uh, you have it done, or did you do it yourself? Yeah, my uh, my cousin Paul Baker. He helped me do all the body work and paint and everything. And it's actually ten plus years old. Um, really? Yeah, did a really good job on the paint. It's a I daily drive it too. We just keep it clean. I mean, I don't drive it in the mud and stuff right. like that. But uh, we just did a quality job. I mean, it was a complete frame frame off restoration. So we took everything off, stripped everything down, all the body panels, redid everything, put it back together. Uh, it was a rust-free truck to begin with, so that made it really nice. Yeah. So not a lot of body work. Yeah, just no get a little side shot. I mean, it is, for an older truck, it is really, really straight. Right. It's a really nice job. Good power door locks. Makes it a oh, yeah, nicer. I heard the click. So everything, yeah, everything works. We did uh, power stand steps, too. Okay. Power steps. Now, 
amp power step steps if somebody wanted to put these on their truck is it like a super duty specific or is no, it universal this, this was for an early model chevy like 99 through 03 and okay the, we just had to research that the mounts for that were pretty close to um the way my body lines are and then we just made we made custom mounts yeah like they don't make anything for this truck and then we had to do custom wiring with um with the door triggers on here so all the doors have door triggers to make that work properly to be honest that i mean it looks like it's meant to be on this truck i mean there's like a little bracket up here but that's about it that's huh? all we had to build it was real simple real simple wow but it, it, yeah bolted right onto the uh the lip the factory lip on right. the bottom rocker right so uh, the seats are out of a newer uh gmc because they have the integrated seat belt and i want to get rid of the lap belts the rear seat is original though got a little work to do on the interior still headliner needs finished a uh, couple things like that refine the bracketry for the seats a little better yeah but i bet it's a, a pretty comfy yeah aftermarket air comfy conditioning ride. as well so that that's nice you just get in it roll up the windows turn the ac on and just drive it so now the driver. ac unit is it like a vintage air is it like um, a it's not vintage air i'm trying to think of the company who did that uh, it's similar to vintage air though okay was it universal or was it was it... a universal kit so okay. the controls are, are down on the bottom of the dash there for the ac wow but it um yeah it was really easy with the cummins diesel because it already had the ac compressor on the engine so okay. i just utilized that and switched it to the newer 134a system instead of the r12 so just some custom hoses and you're set really yeah yeah it was wow. really easy to do yeah. all right you want to tell me a little bit about the back suspension yeah so the rear suspension it's also a bds suspension um same thing this is for like 99 and up super duty the suspension that they that they provided for this the rear axle is out of an 03 super duty um chassis cab model so it's a little narrower uh so everything really bolted right into place we just had to align everything drill some new holes i, I used the super duty uh, brackets up here on the frame okay i just drilled new holes and, and shockingly just, everything kind of was meant to be it seemed like it really was yeah everything it was the rear end was really really simple to do even the sway bar we that's a, a stock sway bar well Hill, Hillwig produ uh, provided that sway bar. Okay. But like stock links, um, we just drilled new holes in the frame to mount that. All that's, we didn't have to do anything crazy. So off the shelf parts and. Yeah. Yeah, anybody could go order these parts and source a set of Super Duty axles and put this package together. Uh, relatively inexpensive. If, okay. if you can do a lot of the fab work yourself. Yeah, because I know. Um, just a little bit of explanation is cabin chassis they're a little bit narrower kind of a universal like 34 inch right right and i think these trucks are around 34 inch so that seemed to work right it did yeah if you found a rear end out of uh, just your standard super duty crew cab pickup i think it's like three or four inches wider so you'd have to you'd have to cut and move things and it wouldn't work quite as well but all right still doable so it looks like you got uh, some sponsors here yeah these are all of my sponsors, um, they've been great. Some of them were 100% sponsors. Some of them were, you know, 40, 50% sponsors. But, um, I mean, my cousin Paul's, he is the reason all this is really happening. I mean, he has a lot of connections and he helped me get in here to do this, so. Okay, excellent. Well, but yeah, these are my sponsors. Um, we have an Instagram page, that 74 crew. Let's do a walk around the other side if there's anything that stands out. I know you got some different bumpers in factory. So I think we're, we're yeah, we're in a lineup for fusion bumpers, so we probably should say something about that. Right, he's he's my main sponsor. This is the fusion booth. So he built the, the fusion bumpers custom for 73 through 79 pickups. Okay. So they, nobody built these bumpers before. Yeah, I mean it, I mean it, it is it tucks the body lines. Yeah, really designed it um yeah it's a perfect fit uh this truck actually has a, a little bit of a body lift to fit the cummins engine in there so i didn't have to do anything with the firewall okay so he made the bumpers 
Uh, he designed them for a body lift, but he has them designed without as well. So yeah, if you go to the Fusion website, um, I think pretty soon you'll be able to just click and order them. Really? And that's all based off of kind of your truck being the prototype? Right, right. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So we got the back bumper. I'm going to get some oh, of your... Uh, exhaust here. They hooked it up with a full setup on my exhaust. It's a, it's a builder exhaust, built your own. And okay. It, it really worked for this truck. And that's from Magnaflow, right? Yeah, Magnaflow. Excellent. We got a number of different sponsors here that helped them out with this. And then let's take a quick look at the front because I know that's another bumper that was custom made, correct? Yep, this is Fusion bumpers as well. So yeah, they custom made this for the truck. Uh, everything's tucked really nice. Body lines work really well with it. They did a great job on it. Like now, is there... Like, um, is this like a bolt-on for like the frame, the it old is, style frame? It is. It's a direct bolt-on for um, the B473 through 79. All right. So Excellent. as soon as as soon as they're carrying this line, yeah, you just go to the website, click it, they'll build it, and ship it to you. All right. So it's an awesome setup to be able to do that for for the '70s Ford enthusiasts. The off-road LED bars they provided all the lighting for the bumper. So um, Fusion Bumper has, um, they, I think they can accommodate any lights that you want to use, whether it be off-road LED bars or, or rigid or whoever you want to use. I so just know. tell them what, you, what light package you want to go, and then they'll design it for that, light for that application. They did for this, this application right here, and I think a lot of their trucks use some of the same type of lights, so they'll design it for yeah, whatever application. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to yeah, go around you. your truck again. Um, I just want to make sure that if somebody wants to, wants to reach out to you, to follow you, um, do you have an Instagram, Facebook, or anything? Uh, Instagram, that 74 crew. There we go, Probably guys. There. Yeah, check it out. Like our page. Uh, we're trying to update, put as many pictures as we can on there. So, okay. yeah, just check it out. Well, I appreciate the time. Awesome. And uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.